this is Rob from failedmuso.com and welcome to this uh, review of the UVI Analogic Piano 09 instrument for the UVI Workstation. Um, the Roland EP09 was an electric piano released by Roland in 1980 and that's exactly what the analogic piano or AP09 is modeled on it's almost identical in every single sense they've taken around 488 samples from um from the original machine and then tweaked it and scripted it and uh, what we have is what you see before you now hosted in an instance of the Reaper digital audio workstation so very quickly, let's go through the, the front panel. Uh, it's typically UVI. It's gorgeous to look at and very simple to navigate around. At the very top here, we have a volume control and we then have a tune control. Both do exactly what they say on the tin. And then we have a sustain control here. So we can either have that on or off and uh, we can control the, the time or the duration of the sustain. Then we've got uh, an arpeggiator, which is a nice little feature, and uh, we have some basic controls over the rate of the arpeggiation, and then we have the range, one, two, or three octaves, and then we have the mode, whether it's up, down, or a combination of both. And there's an interesting key split feature here where we can have uh, the arpeggiation going on the left-hand side of the keyboard, and you can carry on playing your melody freely on the right-hand side. In the middle of the uh, device here, we've got the tone selector, and there are four tones to select from in this instrument, so not a huge amount. So uh, don't be under any illusion that you're going to get masses of sounds here. What you're going to get here are two uh, sounds, a piano and a harpsichord, and there are two variations of each, and you can combine them. Um, you can either have them as individual uh, tones, or you can uh, combine them up to 16 different combinations of piano and harpsichord. And you can have both or just one of each or whatever you fancy. To the right of that, we've got the speaker section. Now, the original Roland EP09 actually had a built-in 2-watt speaker, and they replicated this here in the software instrument. It defaults to off, but when you turn it on, it plays the sound as if it's coming through that internal 2-watt speaker. So um kind of makes it kind of lo-fi. How useful it is, not entirely sure, but yeah, it's cute nonetheless. Down the bottom here, we've got the effects section, and this section never actually appeared on the original EP09. This is something that UVI have added, and basically these three rotaries uh, control the three effects that sit in the effects section here of the UVI workstation. So here we see the chorus, ping pong delay, and the simple reverb. The guitar boxes here is an effect that's used to simulate the, the speaker using the convolution algorithms within UVI workstation. Right, let's go back to the front panel, and uh, that's a guided tour, a very quick guided tour of that. Let's hear how it sounds. Um, the, the piano tones on their own are very basic, very electric piano type sounds. And number two is a little brassier than that. And then we've got the harpsichord sounds, which are very fizzy and uh, bright. And harpsichord 2 seems to have a lot of the bottom end stripped away. So on their own, they don't sound too impressive, but it's when you start combining them. So if we, say, put both the electric pianos on and keep the, uh, the harpsichord in there, it gives it a bit of bite. And we can uh, take one of those pianos out, maybe put the other harpsichord in. We have all four going at the same time, if you so wish. Even the two pianos on their own actually sound quite nice. But it's when we start feeding in some of the effects. So let's put some chorus in here and we actually then start to hear these voices come alive. That's kind of taken on a, a Wurlitzer EP200 kind of uh, sound in there. Maybe put a little bit of delay, just a smidge in there. And then maybe a bit of reverb. Of 
course we can uh, go to the effects section and, and add some more effects in ourselves which uh, really then does um, expand the boundaries of what this instrument can do so for example if we uh, take some of the modulation and put in a bit of a phaser that can sound quite nice <laughs> We can even put in some distortion and overdrive. And we can layer all these effects up and get some really, really cool sounds. Uh, and that's just one of the, the great features of the UVI workstation. It comes with all of these effects built in as standard and completely free of charge. Um, let's go back to the, um, the device itself and go through what some of the other features do. Sustain again, yeah, it kind of speaks for itself. If we turn it on, we get sustain. And we can control the rate of that sustain. Which is useful. Uh, actually comes in uh, a lot uh, more when you use the arpeggiator. So let's have a look at that. If we turn the arpeggiator on and we play a chord on the keyboard then it will obey the rules that we've set in here, so the rate, the range, and whether it's down, up, or a combination. Put the sustain on. gives it a nice quality there as well. The other uh, cool thing about the arpeggio here is that you've got a keyboard split function which means that down on the left hand side of the keyboard you can play a chord and it'll arpeggiate. But on the right hand side of the keyboard A free melody on there not affected by the arpeggiator at all um, so that's kind of neat and um, we've also got um, this speaker function which I mentioned earlier so this is the sound of um, the piano and we'll put some harpsichord in there as well there you go that's with the um, uh, the arpeggio on and just coming through the normal output but if we put on the the speaker um, this is how it sounds Let's turn it off again and on. So it just kind of gives it a bit of uh, a grittiness and takes away uh, some of the bottom end there. And that really is pretty much it. Um, you can mess around with the combinations of sound. I, I really do like the electric piano sounds um, uh, on there when, when you put them together and you kind of get a nice. Uh, that's a it's very much like a whirl it's a EP200 there but my keyboard playing skills aren't very good at all so what I've done is I've taken the liberty of using some twiddly bits MIDI files do you remember them um, produced by Keyfax software in the uh, late 80s and the in the 90s and programmed by the legend that is Dave Spears who's now uh, one of the guys behind GeForce software um, these uh, MIDI files were short clips usually two or four bars and uh, were recorded by uh, Twiddly Bits and Keyfax uh, of original p uh, musicians playing this stuff live um, and then they recorded the, uh, the trigger data and then put it all into a floppy disk and, and sold it to us. So we had loads of different uh, different files to choose from and make some great music from. I dug my old copies out because I thought they'd come in quite handy because I say you know, I can't really play keyboard live that, that well at all. So I've taken the liberty of copying some of these across, I've put them into Reaper, and I'm going to play you uh, those MIDI files through the, uh, the Analogic Piano 09 and just mess around with the, the settings so you can kind of hear what it would sound like if played by a real, proper, professional keyboard player. Have a listen to this.
Ah, there you go. So um, that gives you an idea of what Analogic Piano 09 can do. Now, the great stuff uh, about this particular instrument is that it's completely free of charge. And all you need to do is go along to the UVI official Facebook page or just go to the UVI website and it will link you there. And all you have to do is like their Facebook page and give them your email address. And it has to be a valid email address because that's how you get the link to download this. And then once you've downloaded this, you stick it into your UVI Sandbanks folder and it will appear in the UVI workstation. It's as simple as that. It's completely free of charge. On the surface, it doesn't look like there's a lot going on. But when you start messing around with the, um, the multitude of effects that you've got here in the UVI workstation, to start tweak tweaking the tones and using a bit of sustain and delay and chorus in particular, then this actually starts to come into its own and sounds really, really good. I, I think it's a great little instrument and it's uh, it's even better because you don't have to pay out any money for it which is which is always good in my book so there you go that's um, our review of the analogic piano 09 from UVI if you want to read the full text-based uh, review then just go to failedmuso.com forward slash blog and you'll find it there uh, towards the top of the page or just do a search uh, for UVI or analogic or any of the other keywords that we've got in there. Um, do come back uh, often, uh, come and read the blog. There's lots of good new stuff coming up um, uh, across the next few weeks, including some new stuff from UVI uh, that they've sent me that I am in the middle of reviewing and hopefully will get to put out there very soon, which is uh, UVI's Electro Suite. Um, so I'm hoping to have that review up very soon. So do come back very soon and listen to that one. In the meantime, enjoy your music making and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.